today I'm going to do some more fraction division. In this particular case, I'm going to do fraction division using partition method, where the question we ask is, how much does one person receive? So here's the setup, one and one half divided by three. There's the setup. So what I'm interested in figuring out is, how much does one person receive? And so in order to solve this problem, I need to have people to represent one person. So here are my three people. So again, here's the problem. One and one half divided by three. Here's the setup. One and one half divided by three. I am now going to solve the problem. So first I have to do is I have to share this out equally. So I, in order for me to share this out equally, I have to cut this up into thirds so I can share it out equally. So here I go. And I'm going to share this out into thirds. So here's my one, and I've shared it out equally to each person. Now I've got to share out this six equally. In order to do that, I have to cut this up into three pieces, equal pieces. There it is. I have shared it out equally. I have shared out one and one half equally to three people. The answer is what one whole person receives. So I'm only interested in what this whole person receives. So I'm going to get rid of all these others because this is my final answer is here. So my answer is one third and a six is my answer. But I need to simplify that answer. So I have to now add these things together and I can only add like units. So I know that I rewrite the problem. 2, 6 plus 1, 6 equals, I count, there's 3, 6. 3, 6 is the same thing as 1 half. So there's my final answer. So one and one half divided by three. The setup is over here. I shared it out equally. I found that each person received a third and a six. I have to get a final answer. So I have to add these things together. One third is the same thing as 2, 6. 2, 6 plus 1, 6 equals 3, 6. 3, 6 is equivalent to 1 half, and there is my final answer. 1 and 1 half divided by 3 equals 1 half. I'm now going to do the sa a similar problem, but this time what's going to happen is the problem now is one and one half divided by two thirds. So I put out my setup, one and one half divided by two thirds. The answer again is what one whole person receives. However, it's telling me I need to share this out equally to two thirds of a person. So here's my whole person. What I'm interested in is finding out what two-thirds of a person received. So I need to cut this person up into three parts. Because I'm only interested in what two-thirds of a person received. So if I'm sharing this out to two-thirds of a person, each person is going to each part of a person is going to receive 
a half. Each part of this person is going to receive a fourth. There, I shared out the ants, I shared out one and one half to two thirds of a person. But the answer is what one whole person received because I'm doing partition division. I only know what this third of a person received, I know what this third of a person received. This only represents two thirds of a person. So in order for me to get my final answer, I need to know what that mythical third of a person would also receive. If this third of a person received this amount, if this third of a person received this amount, because I shared out one and one half to two thirds of a person, partition division is about what one whole person received. I only know what this third of a person received. I only know what this third of a person received. I need to know what one whole person received. So if this third of a person received this amount, this third of a person received this amount, this third of a person would also have to receive the same amount in order to find out what one whole person received. So now, this is what one whole person received. So this one whole person received three and halves plus three fourths. That's what one whole person received. But I need to get a final answer. So I'm going to start making some exchanges here. Okay, I know that fits perfectly. One. I know that fits one whole perfectly. And now I have a final answer. My final answer is two and one fourth. One and one half divided by two thirds. I want to know what one whole person received. One whole person received two and one fourth. So one and one half divided by two thirds equals two and one fourths. Just for the fun of it, let's do it by the good old rote rule that all of us learned in elementary school, where we had no idea why we did things. So let me do that one here. So in order to solve this problem, I've got to change this into an improper fraction. Then I have to, I have to make this into, I have to flip this over, right? Remember we had to flip it and multiply. And lo and behold, there's the answer. So here we are using, the, using manipulatives, how we solved it, and here's the rote rule. So that's one and one half divided by two thirds using partition model.